I'm about to climb into this C-47. As you can see, I am really loaded down with about 150 pounds of equipment. Artillery rounds were coming in. Several of the boats had struck mines. And this is when the picture began to clear that we were in one hell of a mess. Imagine being hurled into six feet of freezing water with yards of deadly beach to cross and very little cover. Imagine the shock when they spotted the Allied Armada on the horizon. This is scary. You've got to be young, fit or stupid to do this in the face of determined German resistance. <sighs> Climbing the cliffs was just the start. They fought their way across the battery, using the craters for cover. But they were desperate to find the German guns. Three men, Compton, Garnier and Malarkey, were ordered to throw grenades on the German machine gun after Lipton's burst of fire. One of the aspects was the use of my 1943 Dodge Manka, which I love to drive, and we use this as a link between locations. But we also had a lot of help from outside people who saw what we were doing and said, yeah, we'll help. We enlisted the assistance of a very well-known figure, Captain Dale Dye, well-known by most people through the series Band of Brothers. He assisted in the authenticity and the way I try to portray the events as they happen. Over 7,000 paratroopers and 48 gliders landed here in broad daylight. Three hours after landing, 16 men from the 82nd Airborne, 504 PIR, under the command of John S. Thompson, assembled here to seize the Grave Bridge. After the shock of the explosion, a few paratroopers, still under fire, swam across to knock out their enemy. They actually constructed a bridge out of scavenged timber. Soon after crossing the border, 30 Corps came under heavy fire from well-concealed positions in that tree line over there. Obviously, the preliminary bombardment had failed. We had us vor der Stadt eingegraben. Wir waren nicht viele. Es rollten auf uns zu sieben Panzer. Die Kommandanten, die schauten durch aus den Stand in der Luke und lenkten das Feuer, aber auch unser eigenes Feuer. Es dauerte nicht lange und kein Kommandant war mehr da. Small bands of paratroopers, escorted the tanks in tight but effective skirmish parties. They gathered here on this small beach to prepare themselves for a 500 yard dash across open space in the face of vicious machine gun and mortar fire. Suddenly, tanks, guns blazing, made a dash from the southern end, firing wildly at anything in their path. The way to Arnhem was opening. This is a story of bitter cold. The snows came and fog rolls in like a cloud coming in on the ground. And the Germans oftentimes came behind it. Here in this sector, the Germans came crashing through the mist. They tried time and time again to break through the lines dug in along here. There were German troops we could see all over the fields. There were tanks on the road coming towards us. It outgunned anything the Allies had. Rounds fired from a Sherman tank at point-blank range would merely bounce off the front. 
We were tired, we were hungry, we were dirty, we were cold. They had probably three times as many people as we had. The German siege of Bastogne was starting to bite, and the Germans really knew it. All along the front, in wooded areas just like this, the German commandos changed into American uniform. It was pandemonium. If they had been able to exploit that, it would have been disastrous. They fought their way down this hill, but they were being hit from all sides by withering machine gun fire. He was stopped in his tracks by the 30th Infantry Division. Bastogne's second miracle came in the form of old blood and guts. Pass. And he said, we're going to charge six bayonets. Go, 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 go. There were no prisoners taken here, and this was the last Allied bayonet charge of the Second World War. Yeah, we charged in there. It was about the scariest I'd been in my life, you know. The Germans would occupy the building, but then the American paratroopers would retake it. Corzini's commandos had failed in nearly all of their objectives. 